I've spent the last 500 days building in Minecraft hardcore. See, I wanted to build something like this. But I didn't think I'd have enough materials to do so. So naturally, I spent the last 50 hours building a massive port city so that we are able to trade with our villagers. Let's get into it. Guys, I've come to the conclusion that we need shulker boxes. That is why we're in this awful place. We need to get blaze powder so we can make eyes of it. I hate being in here. It is so dangerous. Come here. Come here, piglin. Get in this hole. Let's go. I need ender pearls. Get in the hole. Thank you. I believe we have enough now. So we should just start heading back to base. Because I want to get out of here. What the heck? Where are we? Huh? Whatever. I guess let's stick up. We need a jack-o'-lantern for our head. And now let's go find the stronghold. It looks like we need to go this way. We We have been traveling for so long it feels like. I might have found the stronghold finally. I don't know. Where'd it go? What? Oh. I have not fought the Ender Dragon in years. The last time I did it, I was in a death loop for hours. I lost everything. I am so nervous. Okay, we got this. There's no turning back now. Let's dig up. Oh my gosh. Hmm, <clears throat> what a shot. Guys, I'm starting to realize I might be pretty good at this game. I definitely have hit every single one of these shots for sure. Halfway there, okay. Oh my god, this is it. I'm gonna die. Phew. Yes. We did it, guys. Look at that. We're still alive. I'm a professional. You know, this XP would have came in handy when I was crafting all of my armor off camera. It's so much. Oh my gosh. Now, for what we came for. To find an in-city. All of these islands are way too far to ender pearl to, so I'm going to have to build a cross. I'm way... Uh-uh. My hands are so sweaty. Oh my gosh. I... I... I I can't. My, I'm, they're sweating so much. Oh my gosh. We're almost there. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> that was so nerve wracking. Do you see how much easier that was? So much easier. Ooh. There we go. Yay. Don't hit me. Yo, watch yourself. Come on. Thank you. There we go. This elytra is going to be so useful to us. My nerves are way too high being in here. I'm just going to clear out this room and then we're going to head back. I can't do this anymore. This room should give us enough shulkers to make it worth this trip. So I don't really care. I'm going to head back now. Ouch, that could have been so dangerous. Ugh, let me go. I want to go home. No, stop. It's not what I wanted. Stop it. Let me go. Oh my gosh. I'm done. Thank you. I'm going to add mending and unbreaking to our wings of glory.
I've been boating around for hours looking for dark oak because I want to make sure we can add it to our color palette. I also made this auto crop farm off camera. I want to be able to get carrots quickly so we can trade with villagers on the spot. And since we have a skeleton farm, this auto crop farm works wonders. Now, let's begin work on the dock layout that's behind me. I need to dig all this stone to the water level, but it's just, it's taking so long. I don't think I can do this, it's just, I'm gonna lose my mind doing this. I need a beacon. One sec, I'm gonna be right back. Oh my god, ouch, what the heck, hey man. Yo, back off, back off, back off. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, this is it, this is the end of the series, I'm gonna die. Stop. Thank God, could you imagine? I would have cried if I lost this world right now. Episode three of all things. Phew, let's get another star. This is going to help us so much. Ta-da! I'm so glad I took the time to get this beacon. It's such a lifesaver. This video would have never came out if I was still mining that by hand. And voila, now we can instant mine stone. Look at that, so nice and easy. Oh my gosh, look at the difference. This is amazing. It's so nice, it's so much faster. Let's dig this all out now. And now it is time for us to plan out our new port city. Woohoo! We are now at day 300. That took way longer than I wanted it to. I am currently working on the first build for this new harbor. I want it to be like a small warehouse where people would drop off goods and other stuff for the kingdom. This combination of diorite and spruce strip logs looks so nice. The reason diorite doesn't look like bird poop here is we're using FWIP's very, very old texture pack. I think this has to be one of the best texture packs out there, honestly. But let's get into super fast build mode. I'm just adding some slabs and trap doors just so we can add a little bit of detail. I think the fastest way to build in these 500 days is to build a style and then at the end I'll add as much detail as possible. That is because if you can't tell it is very time consuming to add all the small amount of details to these builds and I just want to make sure that it looks good at the end of the video. It's looking really good. 
I want to add a house attached to this warehouse that someone will be living in if they're taking care of it. then got in the mood to grind out all the details for this dock. I wanted this dock to have some dark oak included to break up the texture of the stone brick. Let's start building. As you can see, we finished one side. I'm just adding these chiseled stone because I want to add just a small amount of detail. Oop, I got to sleep. I can't wait to start adding all of the details to this build. Like imagine a massive medieval ship in the middle of this harbor. See, I want this world to feel as immersive as possible for you guys when I release a world tour. So stick around and see what this kingdom looks like at the end. Also, I have made an Instagram and a Patreon. Feel free to check those out. There's the link in the description below. See, I do not want this small dock to like look like the rest. So I'm adding some spruce slabs to break up the symmetry of this port. Ooh, it's looking so good, but now we have to go do the other side. And now for the finishing touches, we're going to add some more slabs to make it look like it's a railing instead of just a plain flat wall. Then we're gonna add some stone brick stairs to round it off a bit and break up that texture of the dark oak. We can also come back and eventually just add some dark oak logs in between the planks because it'll break it up just that little bit. Also, my mind completely blanked and I had to go back and add all the chiseled stone that I did earlier. What do you guys think this kingdom should be called? Leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. I want to start building this mega castle in the next couple of episodes. But first, I need you guys to help me come up with the lore. Like, is this castle going to be defensive? Or is it just going to be a castle just to look pretty? I don't know. You tell me. Finally, it is now day 350. This took way longer than I wanted, but it looks so good. That's all that matters. We now only have 150 days left to build a massive port city for our villagers. Speaking of which, let's start working on a stall for some stone masons. These little market stalls I want to build all throughout this lower part of the area. We need them to be tiny, so they're going to have to have as much detail as possible. That is why we're using an assortment of stairs, fences, oak barrels, and slabs. And these fence gates are here to make sure nothing gets in or out. And now for the top, we're adding some trap doors. And then to break up the brown, we're going to add a combination of red and white wool. Hmm. Let's take a look. Ooh, cute. Now for the roof. And voila! It should now be completely ready for our villagers. Oh, I also built a blue and yellow one as well. This is going to be so slow. I should have built this down there. Ugh. Okay, this is a little faster. Look at us. Wee! Downhill is a little better. One down. And two down. Just need to close this back up and perfect. I then went to work on the foundation of another building. I want this one to be like a tavern and have a darker feel to it.
Oh my gosh. I just found a wandering trader and it has moss blocks. These villagers down here are so useful already. I'm so excited. This means we can start using moss blocks in our builds. Yay! Come here. Stop running from me. Come on. Ooh, we can buy six. Yes, a perfect amount. Now, let's get back to the build. Let's take a look. Ooh. Very fancy. See, I wanted to build on a diagonal to give it a little more depth. Guys, I think it's looking exactly how I wanted it to feel. Beautiful. So nice. <laughs> but then I built an actual diagonal house. But let's move on. I want another stall in front of our tavern. It is almost identical to the one we built earlier. However, I'm not gonna make the same color roof. It's gonna be yellow and white. I think these colors work wonder to break up the darkness of this tavern and the dock below us. I'm making the roof slightly different so it doesn't feel the same when you're walking through it. Oh my gosh, I, I can't play both blocks today. Mm, get in there. Come on. Very good. And now we have to trade with you to keep this unbreaking book. Hi. I changed the layout of our town. I wanted a clock tower, but I feel like if we build it, it needs to be in the center of what we have over here. See? This is already looking so much better than before. Now, back to building. Fantastic. It's looking good. I wanted the roof to feel a little different and not so uniform as the rest of the builds. I am starting to regret this. I have so much left to do. Why did I do this to myself? I'm gonna lose it. Oh my, what would happen if I jumped? I could end the series right now. Nah. <laughs> I should definitely light this up though, because I will die. I'm starting to get in the rhythm. We should be able to move on to a new build very soon, thankfully. Whew! Yes, with details, this is going to look so good. I want this to be the end for our kingdom. And now for one of my most favorite builds. I saw this clock on a post on Reddit and I just thought it looked too good not to try a copy somewhat of the style. I got very inspired from this build. So how about we finish this build and do it some justice? I 
wanted this clock tower to be able to be seen from everywhere in this kingdom. So I want it to be perfect. This is going to look so good when it is fully finished. And it's not even textured yet. Oh my gosh. And now this next build, don't even get me started. Do not get this build to look anything how I wanted it to. I should have planned this build better. I kind of am just winging it at the moment. want this build to be like an armor and contrast the other builds around it, but it just isn't looking right. This combination of cobble and oak wood just feels too beta Minecraft. I'm just going to stick with it and hopefully it turns out good. This looks horrendous. The bottom is too big and the top is too small. Let's see if adding a stone brick roof will help the look of it. But at this point, I just, I doubt it. Add the final stair and let's go take a look. Maybe dark oak will help give it the pop it needs. I don't know anymore. Guys, I've completely switched the look of this building. I added a bunch of deep slate tile. Mmm, so much better. Thank God, so frustrating. I then built an identical house to the one before. See, it's the same, but I'm gonna make it a little different by adding a different textures and details and different windows. Okay, we definitely need something to break up all of this stone brick. That's why I built this. It's a horse stall. It's for the residents of this inn to store their horses when they sleep. Here you go, buddy. Your brand new home. Cute. It is now day. 400. So how about we finish our last mega build where I want to build a storage system in the future. It is so beautiful. Is this what true love feels like? This mixture of spruce wood and sandstone is just, it's a hitting right now. And of course, you guessed it, we need to add the final detail. A crane for the ships in our port city. At this point, we had 20 days left and I added as much detail as I could during this time. Wow, these shaders make every little detail just look 10 times better. Like this crane, I got this design from a Minecrafter called Blue Nerd. He's such a good builder and his style inspired me a lot throughout this whole process of building. But like I said earlier, I want to add a ship here. To make this dock feel lived on, I added a bunch of chests, barrels, lanterns, anything you can think of to make it feel more lived on. Pathways throughout this whole harbor is a combo of stone bricks, path blocks, some dirt, and coarse dirt at the edge of each building. See, most of these buildings have been details. I just need to go back and add flowers and shutter. After detailing this building, it turned into one of my favorite builds, even though this had to have been one of the most frustrating builds I've ever done. And in here is just a bunch of randomly sorted items. That's why I built such a massive building to hold all of our items in the future. And this time I lit it up so I'm not having a massive creeper farm and risking the chance of dying. Oop, I guess I forgot my dirt scaffolding. 
I did not have time to add every little detail to a section like this watermelon and course dirt. But I plan on getting it all done in between episodes because I love how immersive this detailed path feels compared to the rest. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. We did a lot of building today and it's just going to set us up for the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Bye bye.